guys, I just want to say thank you for subscribing to the video. It means a lot. And you know, our mission here at the Melbourne Centre of Healing is to get the word out there as much as possible and create an awareness around mental health, uh, about emotions and how best to deal with them to live a fulfilling and happy life. So this video, we're going to cover a few topics, not really going to overload you with too much content. Um, just want you to have a really basic awareness and understanding of emotions and how they work and some exercises that can help you deal with your stress and emotions on a day-to-day -day basis. So, first of all, what is an emotion? An emotion is simply an energy that runs through our body. So, our emotions aren't us, but they're simply a state that we're in. So, if you hear someone say, oh, I'm sad, I'm frustrated, I'm angry, it's not actually who you are. It's simply a state that you're in and an energy in your body that is best to be released. Now, whenever we push down that emotion, distract ourselves from it, uh, try and escape from it, we don't actually release the emotion, so it gets held in our body. And so, you know, over the weeks, months, and years, these emotions that aren't dealt with can build up in the body, and as our emotions in our body build up, so does our stress. So the more and more emotions we're holding, the more and more stress we have. And, you know, that's when you can see people, you know, snapping at minor things. They might be in traffic, maybe they spill their milk, um, you know, when that, someone snaps in the traffic or spilling their glass of milk, they're not actually angry at that thing. It's that build up of emotions that they're holding inside because whatever we're holding inside colors our world. So how do we release these emotions as they come up? Well, we're going to show you a nice quick and easy exercise so we can start releasing emotions as they come up. Okay, so before we go into how to deal with the emotion as it comes up, we first need to learn how to breathe. <laughs> Sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> but I can tell you, most stress in this world is exacerbated and times by 10, 15, 20 because of our inability to breathe properly. Shallow chest breathing is one of the main causes of more and more stress. So, first thing I want to show you is how to breathe into your belly more and, and expand your diaphragm. So here's the exercise. Take two fingers, place those two fingers just below your belly button. And then we want to take a, an inhale in through the nose, nice and slow, and all we're focusing on is pushing out where our fingers are. So we want to take as much air as possible into the bottom of our belly, which will expand our diaphragm. So we're not too worried about taking air into the chest at this point. So we breathe in nice and slow, then on the exhale, exhaling out of the mouth, uh, with like a side breath, so opening your mouth fully and just letting it all go. So I'll just show you like this, ready? So that's how to breathe deep into the belly. So an exercise you can do is do that simply five breaths. So five breaths, do that two to three times a day and that's one very, very small thing you can do that'll start reducing your stress. Alright, back to the emotions. So, an emotion comes up in the day. So first of all, it's becoming conscious of that emotion. And instead of immediately trying to push it down, trying to project it onto someone else, just take a moment and say, okay, what is the emotion I'm feeling and why am I feeling it? And just take a second to acknowledge that, become aware of that. Once you are, just take a moment to yourself and close your eyes and do that breathing that I just showed you and completely surrender to the emotion. So we're going into it. So I normally just close my eyes, Feel the emotion on your body, wherever it is, it might be your heart, it might be your stomach, it might be your shoulder, wherever you're feeling it, just put your hand there and then completely breathe into it. And it may take 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, however long it takes, just breathe into and surrender to that feeling until it releases. That's how we can release the emotion from our body as they come up. Okay, so let's now talk about significant emotional events and the gestalt. So, significant emotional events. Our subconscious mind has hit slow record since we were four months old in the womb, recording and dating every single memory that we have. So, why are some memories stronger than others? Well, whenever we have an event where emotion is attached, it will create a stronger neurological pathway in our brain. A uh, neurological pathway is basically just a brain groove. It's an indentation in the brain. So the more emotion attached, the more it will have an effect on us and how we remember it. 
Um, I'll use an example here. So say I'm four years old. I'm at home, my dad gets home from work, and I want to play with him. So I go up to him, I'm very, very excited. I say, Dad, let's play, let's throw the key to footy or something. And he snaps at me and yells at me and tells me to go away. I run to my bedroom, I'm crying, and I can't believe what's just happened. And I have so much emotion attached to it, I can't see that event clearly and logically. All I did in that moment was feel extremely sad and upset, and I may have created a belief about myself at that time. I could have created the belief that I'm not good enough, and I'm not worthy of love. Now what that does is create a gestalt. A gestalt is a chain of events in our life that are all linked. So that event that I just explained then, let's call that the first event in the chain. I've created those beliefs, I'm not good enough and I'm not worthy of love. What I'll do then is act out those beliefs in a lot of other events in my life because I haven't cleared that up. So what we need to do, we have techniques here where we can go back to that first event and release the emotion behind it. Once the emotion is released from an event like this, you can see it clearly for what it is because the emotions cloud it when it happens. So if I can release all that emotion I had from this first event, I can then see that it was nothing to do with me. Uh, maybe my dad had had a horrible day at work. Maybe he'd been fired and he was worried about how he was going to provide for the family. And just because of that, he snapped at me and it wasn't my fault. I can release the emotion, I can see that for what it is. What that does, it collapses the chain, thus changing those beliefs. So when I have situations in my future that are presented to me, instead of acting out on the belief that I'm not good enough and I'm not worthy of love, they're gone now because we've collapsed that chain of events. So it makes for a lot brighter and clearer future. So next, I'll take you through a quick exercise that you can do in changing your emotional state. So, say the breathing thing, you're a bit new to it and you're still practicing singing it, and you know, you want something else or an alternative. Uh, this little exercise is quite powerful and it really demonstrates how strong, our, how strong our mind is. So, say if you, I'll use an example, say you have to give a talk in front of some people at the office and you're having anxiety about it and you're very anxious and nervous and you have fear around it. Take yourself off for a minute, just by yourself and think back to a time when you were very calm and very relaxed. And so have your eyes shut and just play out this memory that you have when you're very calm and relaxed. Because our subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between an actual event and one that is vividly imagined. So once you play this out, your physiology will change, which will reduce your fear, your nervousness and your anxiousness. So yeah, give this one a try. That's it from me today, guys. A big, big thank you for watching. I hope you got some value out of it. And yeah, if you want to know more about what we do, please don't hesitate to call us or come in and yeah, connect with us on social media. Check us out online. And yeah, we'll speak to you guys soon.